Hi guys, this week Big on Wine heads for northern Spain, but our destination is not Rioja. No, not at all. We're in search of new nuances from Navarra. Boy, that took some saying. Coming right up. Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Big on Wine, the channel, of course, that brings you news, clues and reviews about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And this week, my wine of the week is a little different. This is a budget option and it's this one here. It's Moraleda Chardonnay and the vintage is 2017. And this is a budget option because it comes in for just nine and a half euro a bottle where I am. Now, even though the price is low, it does pack a punch. This is 13 and a half percent in terms of alcohol. And it's produced by Borregas Arroa and is officially Denominación de Origen Navarra. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, this is a 100% Chardonnay wine, and of course it's a young one, vintage 2017, coming from the Navarra region of northern Spain. So where is Navarra? Well, it's in the north of Spain, close to the Basque country, in fact, just east of that country, Basque country tucked up between the uh, Pyrenees, the Pyrenees Mountains and the River Ebro and Pamplona is right at the centre of Navarra. So, uh, of course, famous for its annual bull run. OK, the Navarra area has uh, a continental climate, cold winters and long, hot, dry summers. Now, normally we would associate Navarra, of course, with red wines, rosé wines, the traditional stuff. Uh, and indeed, reds and rosés still make up about 20, 95% of uh, production there, 95% or so. But that figure is falling relatively quickly because they're experimenting there with white wines. Um, the white wines are very much on the march, up and coming. And the varieties in question are the Viura, the Garnacha Blanca, and this one here, the Chardonnay. So, Moraleda is 100% Chardonnay and a budget offering at under 10 euro a bottle. All right, let's try it in the nose and see what we get. Um, in the glass, it is a wonderful straw gold in colour. Um, very appealing indeed in the glass there. Almost a touch of, is there even a touch of carbon dioxide in this wine? Just a tiny little touch perhaps, bubbling up there a little bit. But um, very, very attractive in terms of uh, colour. All right, in the nose. Um, hmm, now that's interesting and extremely pleasant. Um, how are we going to classify that? Well... I would say to begin with, it, the aroma is fresh, it's light, um, quite elegant. I think we could even call this an elegant, elegant aroma on that. If I have to actually pin it down to a certain aroma, I would say that the initial impression is something between green apple and honeydew melons, a very pleasant combination of two quintessential uh, wine aromas there, the, uh, the apple, the green apple and the melon in the nose. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Good. Maybe even in the background, a touch of a hint of white pepper as well. Okay. Now this is a dry wine. It has one gram of residual sugar, so it's pretty much bone dry. And it has, at least in the nose, a very, very pleasant, fresh, light, fruity aroma to it. And uh, I think it's uh, time to try it in the mouth. Yes, here we go. Let's give it a try. OK, now in the mouth, <clears throat> I'm getting the same light, fresh, solid fruitiness. Very pleasant indeed. Coming now to a touch of acid in the mouth, so it's citrusy. I 
wouldn't say that it has a tremendously strong acidic bite, but there are elements there. The acids are reasonably good in this wine. A nice minerality, I would say. Let me just check that out again. Yeah, the flavours in this wine uh, very much mirror the nose. In other words, that kind of apple, um, citrusy, with that touch of melon, touch of pepper in there. I wouldn't say that this wine is multidimensional, but it certainly delivers what it promises in the nose and it's extremely pleasant in the mouth. This is a harmonious, well-balanced, relatively simple wine um, with a long fruity finish uh, and a touch of pepper and spice. Um, a good everyday wine to accompany food. Excellent. The serving temperature for this wine should be around the 10 or 11 degree mark, I think. This is going to be perfect with fish and seafood, um, particularly fish with plenty of flavor. So a nice salmon cutlet or something like that. Uh, white meat such as chicken would also work extremely well with this. So yes, let's pull all this together and bring you the heads up. We're talking here Moraleda Chardonnay 2017, an uncomplicated, but still stylish Chardonnay from Spain's Navarra, coming in at a really good price, under 10 euro a bottle where I am. I'm going to give this wine three stars plus out of five. Okay, guys, many, many thanks for taking the time to uh, check out this week's video and, of course, the little introduction to a budget option from Spain's Navarra Moraleda and the Vintage 2017. Nice stuff indeed. A new acquaintance for me. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below. We're always pleased to receive your comments. Share the video around. Uh, follow me on my other social media platforms. And of course, you can always subscribe if you haven't done so already by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. I'll be back again next week, of course, with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.